All right, everyone, welcome back to another tutorial of Salesforce Makes Sense. This is Manshu, and we are continuing our Lightning Web Components Masterclass. All right, in the previous tutorial, we talked a bit about getters and setters, and before that, we understood two way binding. And I hope all of this is making sense to you. In this particular tutorial, we are going to do a nutshell kind of a more like a conclusion kind of a video. All right, and I'm going to talk about every thing that we learned on these four elements and we are going to compare and contrast them all right i have four columns here public variables private variables getters and setters all right just so that your confusion is clear you can actually look at this table you can screenshot it you can post on your linkedin tag me and yeah that would be great all right cool let's get started now first of all the declaration how do you declare a public variable you use an aid at the rate api uh, tag to it correct but a private variable without any tags you can simply declare your variable right how how about getter and setter you use a get keyword before it you use a set keyword before it cool that's one key difference the second thing is what is accessible in html so public variables are accessible right same is for private variables same is for getters right that's why we use getters to get any computed value in the html but you cannot use setters directly correct so it's a no there always you will be using a getter the getter will be called whenever the value has to be shown on the ui but whenever it has to be calculated in that case the setter will come in the picture okay now accessible from outside yes at the rate api is made for it right that's why you use public variables to access from outside your lwc private for variables not possible sorry all right getters and setters are also possible getters via html binding and setters when used with the api at the rate assignment meaning you can use the at the rate api keyword with your setter methods also cool used for what what are these used for so public variables are primarily used when you have a parent child communication you want to pass values from a parent component to a child component right what does private uh, variables use for internal logic any kind of boolean checks any kind of state that you want to maintain and all of that stuff logic inside your current component getters if you want to take a look at any value which is dynamically computed or formulated right based on other values and if you want to run any kind of logic when a value is assigned it can be a validation logic it could be a different kind of a logic it could be any kind of logic if you want to run logic whenever a value is assigned and you want to do it before you use a setter all right how about reactivity pretty much everything is reactive so you don't have to worry about it right at the rate api local variables getters and setters see because remember everything we saw on the screen it was getting updated as soon as we typed it see as soon as we type it is getting it is reactive it is giving you the latest value without the page being refreshed right similarly here himan should see the value is getting populated automatically these values are coming from the let me refresh it these values are coming from the current date and current time and they are coming from the js file right 56 56 cool so pretty much everyone supports reactivity when reactivity is in picture just understand that your screen does not need to be reloaded you will get the latest values immediately without a refresh without a page or a tab refresh it the component will re-render itself that's the meaning of reactivity okay great can assign value directly in js yes you can obviously assign direct values in js same is with private variables you can do it getters you cannot you can only read right you can only return you cannot set any values and in setters you set values so assigning values is not possible in getters that is obvious correct can assign value in template like in html template can this be done directly yes you can uh, use it as a public variable in template by passing it to the html right by passing the at the rate api variable to the html you can do it for a private variable also right it's just that it is not going to accept it if you are doing it from a parent or a grandparent getters same thing it's possible because you can put a value and then it will be mapped automatically however setters are not possible you need to actually pair it with getters it will not be setter this should be getter you need to have a getter in order to be able to assign a value just a setter will not work all right now what could be a typical use case as to when you would use a specific kind of a option that you have because now you have a public variable private variable and getter and setters these will probably be clubbed together but you have an option to choose either three of them right so whenever you are accepting values from any other components in that case you are going to use a public variable obviously because there's no other way to communicate 
but any time you are doing something within the LWC component, go with a private variable. As simple as that. Don't have to over complicate things unnecessarily. Okay. In case you have to display any kind of formatted text, right, or do any kind of validations and transformations before assigning values, in that case you go with a getter and setter. It's like a blueprint. Okay, this line is more like a blueprint. You can just understand that. Okay, this is the reason why I have to go with a, this kind of a variable because I am doing this such such, uh, such sort of a use case. Okay, now extra notes. I don't know why this is. Uh, okay, I think there's some stuff hidden here. Let me just see if I can. But I think I know it will just be what's needed. Let me get rid of this. So extra notes use sparingly as in use it only when you actually need it and only expose what's needed meaning don't make everything as at the rate api right don't do that because it's not needed and it will unnecessarily confuse you and you and the component and someone else who's working on it later okay default for most of the variables is going to be a private variable and that is pretty much fine because that's what's expected okay this does not store data it just returns right meaning it does not really store anything. It is just to get any data. It is not storing anything on your behalf for on, on any variable. It is just returning information to you. Okay. And setter for a setter, because you need to use a setter, you use to you, you need to use a backing variable, which is nothing but underscore and then your variable name, the way we saw it in the example. So a very good uh, nutshell uh, in a nutshell kind of a video that I wanted to make so that it kind of clarifies you that you know okay once you, ex you explain public you explain private you explain getter setter but now it is all hodgepodge in my head but now this gives you a very good idea and you can actually take a screenshot of it and you know kind of print it out when you're doing LWC or you know keep it in your notes that yeah okay in this scenario I'm going to use this variable in this scenario I'm going to use that variable let me try getter and setter here let me try a private variable here so it will kind of build your confidence around using them freely and independently all right great and bonus points for those who are taking the screenshot and you know putting a post on linkedin and tagging me so that i know that you've posted it and just try to explain from your behalf that you know what you understood try to explain it okay that will help you understand it a bit more faster okay don't forget to tag me if you are pasting the screenshot on your linkedin communities uh, do share it with other people who, who you think might help with it and yeah that's all i think that's all i wanted to cover as part of this particular video and that closes the variables bit public private getters and setters we'll move on to the next module cool great i will talk to you in the next one bye